I'm Samuel Benoit. I'm here uh, with CUTV. Um, we have Devin here. Devin, where are we? Uh, we're at the House of Friendship. Uh, we are at the Montreal Shift Conference, day two. It is Saturday afternoon and the workshops are going fantastically well. What are the workshops about? Uh, it really depends on what you want to do. If you want to learn how to find a job, if you want to learn how to do Zen poetry, if you want to learn how to compost, if you want to learn how to fix your bike, uh, it really ranges from just about anything you can think of. As long as it's sustainable, as long as it's about community and environment, then we've got it all here. So, Julia, I understand that you're one of the volunteers this year at Montreal Shift. Um, yes, I, I did spend a little bit of time volunteering, and it was very, very worthwhile. It's a great way to contribute your time and feel like you're getting a lot out of it at the same time. I'm very impressed with how many bright people there are in this area and how eager so many people are to, to be contributing, including myself. So I have nothing but good things to say. Everybody's been very conscious and very caring on many levels. Uh, Montreal Shift is sort of a new way of looking at the environment, our environment being uh, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Um, and we're looking at this in a way that's sort of individual to the person, um, as well as where they live, their community, and um, everyone who is around them in that community. Okay, and how was this initiated? I was initiated by a group of youth who came together uh, sometime in February, March, I believe, uh, earlier this year. Um, Nika Kanjani is sort of the, let's say, big mama of the house, if you will, um, for the conference. It was her idea, and like anything else, um, it always starts with an idea. And slowly the shift crew kind of came together. Uh, myself, I got back from Uganda about two months ago, and a good friend of mine, Ariane Schaffer, who is also on the organizing committee, asked me if I wanted to join. Um, and I came to the first meeting and was blown away by how amazing everyone was and that project that uh, they wanted to initiate and I was down and here I am. Okay. Uh, my name is Samara and I would say that the most noteworthy uh, workshop that I attended was the dumpster diving and I think that is because it is so markedly different from anything I've ever known or was brought up with. And uh, aside from being a learning experience, I also got some organic bananas. So that was a great success. Uh, my name is Ariel. Um, I'm a volunteer as well as I was a participant in this, the Montreal Shift. And I was lucky to go to uh, the Public Art and Its Significance uh, workshop. And it was such a wonderful experience because I, uh, I made a stencil of my, of my face and uh, I was able to spray paint it on the wall. And it was, it was such a wonderful like, way to show, like, express yourself on, like, like, as graffiti, but in a different term as art. So it was really nice. Um, well, I think that uh, it forces everyone to kind of move away from their comfort zone. And I think that increases self-awareness and affects change. And I think that, you know, change starts off really small. And I guess it's kind of a, like a, I don't know, maybe like a pay it forward kind of thing. And I think that if it, start, if it starts with a small group, it eventually becomes much bigger. And if you look at any organization that is very big, you have to, you know, all organizations have roots and beginnings. And so I hope that answers your question. And I think it was such an eye-opener because uh, there are so many things like graf like the workshop that I did at Graffiti. Um, I really, I had only one perspective of what graffiti was. And then when I took this workshop, there was, you know, so many different terms and meanings of what graffiti is and what makes it so beautiful and to view in a different way. And like all these different workshops, they open up, you know, open your mind to different aspects of like dumpster diving as she did and uh, to see that it was such a good experience and that a lot of youth get together and share these different ideas that maybe someone might have not viewed as you know the most interesting idea to do but it was it was definitely wonderful and I think it'll, I think it has potential of growing really really big and branching out to it. Our goal was to 
to patine these with like something that was recycled. So you're using like recycled coffee and recycled tea leaves to give like a na sort of a natural effect at the end. Okay. Since this is not as natural as we would have liked to, but we did this quickly to have this workshop. So at least when we finish it, we're going to use something that's like recycled. But I added tea in mine, so now we it's added tea clean. into the front. Yeah. So now we have sort of halfway yeah. compromise. Yeah, and it gives it a nice color to it. Nice tint. So yeah, so now we're just, what we've done is like, we've poured plaster into these molds, which is what they call a negative copy. So this was the original face here. Okay. Which okay. had a ring, like this one here yeah. around it. Yeah. And the four pieces. The four point of glass pieces has been vaseline, which creates like a barrier coat. Mm -hmm. If not, the plaster would stick directly to the shape. Okay. Here. So by putting the vaseline, once the plaster is hardened, we can take it off. And we have uh, is a print which is called a negative of this positive. Right, right, right. So in this negative, which is this. That's right, okay, I get it. We pour plastic. And this gives us Come another positive. Another, another, another so for the people who couldn't participate this weekend, uh, what sort of follow-up will there be? How can other people get involved in this um, movement? A big, a big part of uh, Montreal Shift, of course, is interactivity and sustainability. So we want to continue with this in a number of different ways. Uh, a large part of that being the website, montrealshift.com. Uh, simple, it's the title of the conference. Um, basically, any information you need there is there. Uh, we've begun a blog for the participants to sort of share in their experiences and continue shifting, if you will, together. Um, as well as uh, other communities who are interested in doing this can of course um, email us at any time. Uh, all the info is on the website and we are hoping that you know Montreal will become sort of a, a hub for this type of thing but that it will spread not only through Canada but across the world. So, so would there be another conference in the future? Yeah, Montreal Shift is actually going to be an annual event. Uh, this was kind of the pilot project to th see how it works, how things go, what kind of interest there would be in the community. Um, so far it's been nothing but a huge success and we're all very happy. So we're going to just keep working hard to make it uh, happen every year.